Hey guys, Doug here again. Uh, it's a gloomy morning here, so it's uh, it's gonna be a shop day today, and we're gonna make a little uh, little propeller toy. Storm's coming. So I've been uh, playing with uh, propellers late night this week uh, on a different kind of project, not this project, and uh, I came across a fella using one of these. And he'd just be spinning it and having a ball. So I thought I'd give it a try. I made a few of them, different styles, different ideas. I think I got it narrowed down to a, a good plan. This is not it. We're going to make that one. So all we're going to use is a, a piece of basswood or pine or cedar, some kind of lighter, lighter wood. It's about a quarter inch, maybe a healthy quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, and about eight inches long, about one inch wide. Uh, the dowel, this is a 3 inch dowel. I'm going to go down to a quarter inch dowel and about 8 to 10 inches long. So both sections 8 to 10 inches long, no matter. And uh, all you need is a knife and a corresponding drill bit and some glue. And you can make a little, a little fun toy. So that's the plan for today. But in the meantime, we're not going to be outside. This is a piece of uh, wood, this is one inch by about five sixteenths, three eighths, and about eight inches long. All right, that, got a quarter inch dowel, we're going to cut out about eight or ten inches long. We've got a carving knife, tape measure, I should have a pencil, where's the, there's a pencil. These are uh, paint stir sticks, if you glue two of these together, that's pretty much uh, pretty much the same as this so that makes a, an easy an easy way to do it if you don't have the tools uh, on their own they don't work I, I did one and you just can't get the uh, the plane that you need on the blades it's close it works minimally in fact it just kind of shoots across ways it doesn't really go up it needs that lift so it needs a little bit more thickness to give that lift as a single paint stir stick so that one's out we need the uh, the corresponding uh, drill bit for your dowel. You want to make it nice and tight, not sloppy. We will glue it, but we don't want it to be too sloppy. So, other than that, I think uh, oh, and a coffee. Need a coffee. Okay, let's take our piece of wood. You uh, we need to mark center on this. Uh, you can measure it, or you can just go uh, angle to angle. All right. Well, that's your center point right there. Uh, might as well drill it right off the bat. Get that out of the way. Alright. So now all we're gonna do is uh, make where is my so all we're gonna do is make these angles for the prop. And each side is obviously the opposite way. So let's go a half inch roughly on each side of the hole on both sides just to uh, give us something to, to gauge by. All right. And then we're going to take this point. Oh, I'm going to make it bigger. Here, maybe this will help. This line is what we're going to have left on here. Okay. So all I'm going to do is these lines, we're just going to taper these up to the hole after. But in the meantime, all I'm going to do is carve down roughly, I should put a, a marker. Let me draw this marker on here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm going to just carve this edge down just so that I have a uh, a nice edge. All right. Can you see what's left there? Okay, so I've carved that down. I left that black line there. Okay. So that all that does is now to this corner here, I know what my plane is. So I can take all that out of the middle. All right. 
and I don't have to worry about the edge anymore. And I'm just going to whittle it down. So basically that point is going to touch this point. That's the uh, plan here. Make sure you got a nice sharp knife. Makes for quick work. Everybody keeps telling me my wood's so soft. But I keep saying my knife is razor sharp. And that's the, the whole key. There, that's just about it. Alright, so I just took that mark and I went on an angle to this corner. Okay, I know this is hard to see. See that bevel in there? Alright, now we're going to flip it over the other way. And I'll take that marker again, put that marker on here. And I'm going to do the, the exact opposite. I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do is get down so that I know where that angle is there. And by thinning this edge first, that's going to give me a, a plane that I can see from that point to that point. And now I can just freely whittle away without worrying about where that edge is. All right. And I'm, play, I'm cutting the whole thing right to the right to this other corner. I'm, I should slow down. I'm rushing this. The thing about this this edge here too is you don't want this edge to be too fine. You need it to cut the air, but you don't want too fine that you're just gonna break it by rolling the edge, okay? So and that's where we're headed. See that angle on there? And I'll just go back and uh, clean it up. Here's what I meant about that uh, that half inch mark. I'm just kind of just kind of fairing it in. Right up to the hole, and it kind of started on that half inch there. Alright, so we're just going to keep on going. Nice, like that. Same on this edge. Like I said, any light wood will do. Even a nice dry cedar is nice. We're just going to get that down thin. You see that? You can feel between your fingers when you when you got it to where you want. So, like that, and that's what you want left. So here's a close-up look. See this hole here? I got a bit of an angle here coming in. Same on this side, a bit of an angle. And that's the uh, the angle, just that one inch across. Just like that. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So if this is this one here, you're going to do this the opposite way. So. This side is angled this way, this side is angled this way. All right, you don't need to watch me uh, do the exact same thing on the other side, but I'll come back when I got the other side all done. I've heard about uh, grain direction. When you're whittling one way and you, you feel that the, uh, the, the fibers are, are lifting and, and pulling up, just uh, turn it around and, and go the other way, or do like an angled, more of a slicing cut across ways. That way you can. Uh, you won't tear and pull up the wood. So when it, when the wood gives you a, a problem, just uh, go the other way or do a more 
a more uh, purposeful angle cut and a slicing cut and thin. Don't try to go too deep at once, but this is where we're at. This is our uh, our propeller. Now, are you going to get these perfectly flat? No, you you, you carved it. It's uh, it's for fun. You can make this thing in the belt sander in about two minutes if you want to just go. Bzz, bzz. But uh, this is we're carving, so I'm going to take these edges. Don't need to, but I'm just going to round them off just to keep it pretty. All right. If you got some major uh, major issues with your wood, just give it a light sanding. It's fine too. And uh, while the weather is still kind of sucky out there, I think we might paint it, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. I like the carved look. I like to see the little knife facets and cuts on the wood. So I'm going to leave it as is. I might take off a couple of pencil marks, but uh, yeah, we're basically ready for glue. Save you the aggravation that I had. Uh, right or left handed? So I made one, I think it was the paint stick one. You have to think about which way you're doing it. So you want it to turn with the high point up and low point down. If you go point down, you're going to drop it down. So think about it this way, that you want the air to come under to lift. So if you're right handed and you want to use it this way, right? That is a... Uh, I, so I, I do more with this side. If I go the other way, see how it drops down? It goes down. So I made one and uh, it was just awkward. I could. Shoot. <laughs> A little beard broom. Uh, it was just awkward. So you want to do it the way that it's going to uh, fly. That based upon what hand is going to give it the most force. Like I said, if I go this way, it goes down. So keep that in mind. Alright, so remembering that I want that side up, I'm going to glue it like that. So just going to stick some, some crazy glue in here. What's it called? It's not crazy glue. That's the brand name. Super, super glue. And I'm just going to uh, Put that on a little bit heavy. If you have a different kind of glue too, it's not a bad idea to leave it up a hair and you kind of cock the glue in. But I think I got more than enough on here that I can uh, be pretty confident with what I got. All right, I'll just let that set up, and uh, I will give her some paint. All right, let's give her a little. Quick sand, see the edge. And obviously, in no way, shape, or form is this necessary, but we got time, so let's give it some color. Can you see those cuts? That's what I like. I love to see those little knife cuts because of that homemade, handmade look. stopped and we got our little uh, flyer here so let's give her a whirl <laughs> give her a whirl Wow, this one flies uh, way better than the other one. I think it's the lighter weight in the uh, smaller dowel, but my goodness. It's kind of fun. Whoa.
Well, we're uh, back where we started and uh, yeah, I think we weathered a storm and made a fun little project. So, hope you dig it and uh, yeah, as always, I will uh, catch you on the next one. So, thanks for watching. See you guys.